Hello, Garden School Foundation family, especially 24th Street Elementary and Wilshire Crest Elementary students. This is Mr. Averill, and we're gonna do a quick cooking class. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make both um, dumplings and spring rolls. And this is something that you can do with your parents and you use whatever that you have at home, so. I have some carrots, some cabbage, just chop that up really quickly, cooked it very fast. There's fresh green onions, just the tops. I save the bottoms about up to where they start to become green. There's also some chopped ginger that I had around. So all of this is going to go into the dumplings and the spring rolls. So these are the types that you can find pretty much at any store, um, sometimes in the ethnic or Asian foods aisle. So we'll also be adding some garlic, sesame oil, and some soy sauce. So if you don't have any of those, not a problem. Substitute some other oil. If you don't have soy sauce, add a pinch of salt. It's gonna be delicious. These bowls here are just a little bit of water that I'm going to need to use when I'm making these things actually stick together. So the dumplings, they are going to actually have to be cooked. You can boil them or you can cook them in a pan. The spring rolls, you don't need to cook. So that's actually something that uh, we may have done at school together. And let's do that one first. So I already have one spring roll wrapper. I have some warm water here, just normal drinking water that I warmed up. It's not too hot, but it's more than room temperature. I have a little bit of garlic on there. So the water will be nicely flavored. It's delicious if a little bit of something drops in. It's never a big deal. And of course, with the ingredients, whatever you have around is what you would use. So this piece, it was first white when I put it in the water, just dipped it, now it's clear. Um, it's a little bit sticky, so I'm gonna move pretty quick here. Take a pinch of my carrot and cabbage. A little bit of green onion. I'm keeping it pretty close to this edge. Just a little bit of ginger. Ginger can be kind of spicy if you use too much. I love ginger, so I'm actually gonna put in just a little more. I'm gonna make my first fold. And then fold over the ends. Sometimes it'll squeeze out the ends a little bit, not a big deal. super easy. This does not need to be cooked. This is ready to eat right now. Um, having a dip like soy sauce is great, or I'll show you another dip that we can make in another video. Let's move on to our dumpling. I'll set this here to the side. This one little sheet. Again, you can find these almost anywhere. I'm going to use this water that's going to make this dumpling stick. Um, actually to itself after I've loaded it up with all the good stuff. Do the same style, our cabbage, carrot mixture, a little bit of green onion, a little bit of ginger. I'm gonna fold this over. Keep a little bit of water here so it can stick. I loaded mine up quite a bit. It's easier if you do less, but we all can like stuffed dumplings. Super stuffed. A little bit on the outside. Oh man, that's awesome. And I could have it just like that, or the style that I was taught, we can add a little bit of extra flair pinching those tips together. Boom. 
and then we'll end up boiling this or frying this in a pan with some oil. See you soon on that. Okay, we made our dumplings and now we're going to boil them. So this is super easy. Um, it's only going to take three or four minutes once you drop them in and they're boiling. You see some green stuff in the water. It's because we boiled some green beans first. So we just saved that water. Ooh, just do two for now, but three, four minutes. Okay, so optional last step is making a dipping sauce for our dumplings. So I'm, I've got some garlic here. I love garlic, so I'm using a lot. I'm not going to give a specific recipe here. With the garlic, if you like it, go ahead, put it in a ton. A navel orange, I like it because there's no seeds, so I'm just gonna squeeze this and however much juice comes out of my orange, I'm gonna put about half that much soy sauce in. And again, I'm just estimating, and then I'll stir it up, I'll take a little taste, and see what's gonna be delicious. And then I'll just add a little bit of ginger. Boom. Let's stir this up, and then it'll be time to taste. 